Breaking news this morning as a World War II airplane crashes in the suburbs and then bursts into flames. These are the pictures that you're looking at. Hello, everyone. This is happening in the western suburbs. As you saw, Chopper 7 HD was over the scene. That was about 45 minutes ago when that plane was a big fireball in the middle of a field. It's a restored World War II era Boeing B-17 flying fortress. It's called the Liberty Bell. Now, this plane took off from the Aurora Municipal Airport in Sugar Grove about 9.30 this morning, and then it crashed just a couple miles south of the airport. We are told there were seven people who were on board, but all of them, all seven of them, were able to walk away from this crash. This plane actually was in town for an air show. It had been grounded, though, for some mechanical problems. The aircraft had been modified to allow the public the opportunity to ride in classic planes. You're looking at a live picture right now on what is left of the plane. As you can see, obviously, firefighters are still out there putting out the uh, any more embers, the, the remainder of the blaze. Again, once again, though, seven people had been on board, but there are no injuries in the crash of the plane this morning. Joining us on the telephone right now is the fire chief of Sugar Grove, Marty Kunkel. And we thank you, Marty, for joining us. So your firefighters are still working there, aren't they? That is correct. We actually have two res units that responded to the scene of that incident. And if you can tell us, I mean, we're looking at this live picture from Chopper 7 HD, and it is amazing. People walked away. Tell us what about the passengers on there. We said there were seven and there were no injuries. Well, that's the information. You have a little more information than I have about the amount of people on board. Actually, we were dispatched to the Aurora Airport about 940 this morning for a plane that had, uh, was on fire and was attempting to return to the airport. It was confirmed it was a B-17 vintage, B-17 bomber. En route to the airport, we had learned that the plane had could not make it back and actually put it down in a, in a field five miles southeast of the airport. We then notified the jurisdictional fire departments of that area and uh, came back that the area actually was in the Minkler Route 71 area. So, um, Chief Kunkel, did you get word from the airport authorities or did someone, um, probably, you know, maybe the, the people who own this property called um, with any sense of what, was, what the problem was? Had they called in the May Day? Actually, we were notified by the FAA tower oh. that the plane actually made radio communications to them that they had a fire on board and were attempting to return to the airport. So we automatically got dispatched for that. We were in anticipation of the plane attempting to land at the airport, which it didn't. So uh, all our information came from the FAA tower via communication from the pilot. Can you tell us at this point what's your next step and as, as far as this investigation goes? Once the firefighters clear that area, you guys will step in, and what's, what's the plan for the next step? Well, actually, the, the jurisdiction is not up within the Sugar Grove Fire District, so it's actually Oswego Fire. They, they will take complete jurisdictional investigation over that incident. So the only thing that you were told by the tower was that there was a, the pilot reported a fire on board. Um, anything more than that fire on board? One of the engines, what? That's all the information we had. Um, once it didn't did crash land in the field, we were informed that all the occupants had, had escaped. So at that point in time, we were really released everything over to a squiggle fire. We had no further um, authority over it. Okay, that's Fire Chief Marty Kunkel of the Sugar Grove Fire Department. We thank you very much for joining us and giving us that information. Once again, the best news out of this mm -hmm. is this vintage airplane. There, um, it had taken off from Aurora. There were seven people on board. No one was hurt in this, so that's the best part of the news. Here. Absolutely, and we will have much more information on this as it becomes available later in this newscast.